Hi guys, um, lately I've been so obsessed with story time videos, I just think they are hilarious and I was like why don't I make one, like I have a lot of stories, I was the weirdest child ever and this story I'm telling today is the weirdest thing I've ever been through, the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life and I thought why not share it with the world, it's been a secret until now so hey let's tell everyone ever. Now, you may have heard of Habbo Hotel. Habbo Hotel is basically like a big chat room, you have a character, you have little rooms, you have a house, whatever, meet people on there. Yeah, this Habbo Hotel was my entire life growing up, like you have no idea, like I would spend hours on it, I'd be on it till like 6 in the morning, I wouldn't leave my house, I was one of those, I was just, I was just stupid, um, didn't have a social life. <laughs> Me and my three best friends were on it all the time. And basically this led to us meeting two identical twins. Um, we started flirting with them. Um, I'm going to call one of my friends Jenny. Um, me and Jenny decided, hey, why? They're identical twins. We both fancy them. This is like the best scenario. We can have one twin each. <sighs> so we have them on MSN. Um, we decide to sort of get in an internet relationship, one each, and we were like, this is amazing, oh my god, we basically both have the same boyfriend. Ugh! Yeah. Now, we used to go on webcam all the time, nothing dodgy, by the way, just sort of like, oh my god, hi, it's me again, and they'd be like, who hey, with the big emo fringe. The most emo, if, imagine the most emo guy you can, big black fringe piercings and just like, crying a lot. That was him. That was both of them. They were the same. To be honest, I got the one who was more sad all the time, which was wonderful. But yeah, we're going to call them Bill and Ben, by the way. We decide the best thing ever that we can do is invite them over to come and see us. And not tell anybody, not tell our parents or our friends. Just invite them over and see what happens. Like... Abby's logic. We will go to my town, we will meet them, we'll have a cute day, um, we won't tell anyone about it but it'll be nice. So we tell them this plan and like they're like oh yeah sure and we assume by the way that they're gonna obviously tell their parents because they're the ones coming over. We'll get to that. Um, so yeah, the day comes, I think it's been quite a while, the day comes, we're waiting, it was in Chester, which is like the town near me, and it sort of hit me at this point, and I remember freaking out, and I was like, oh my god, what if someone forced them on webcam, what if they're not who they say they are, they could kill us, we're gonna die, and yeah, me and Jenny had Bill and Ben, yeah, we had one each, but my friend Georgia, who used to always go and have it with us, and he knew, she was the only other person that knew what was going on, she decided to tag along because she was like, you guys might die and I want something to do. So she came along with us. Anyway, um, we're kind of freaking out. And then we see these little emo fringes in the distance and we're like, they're real, they're real. Our dream guys have come to rescue us. So they meet us. It's a bit awkward, but everything's kind of fine. And we decide to go to a nearby park and play hide and seek because we are mature teenagers. And... I remember, like, I was like, oh, they were really full on, by the way, like, all over us. And I was like, okay, okay, this is strange. Well, Bill, my one, was all over me, like, kissing me and stuff. And I was like, whoa, this is very full on, whoa, okay. And then, um, but I think I was having a great time because, hey, it's a little emo boy who I love. Anyway, Jenny's boy decides he thinks it's perfectly okay to change girl. He's like, he meets Jenny and he's like, actually, kind of a free friend. So, I gotta go with her instead. And we were, <laughs> I don't remember being that weirded out by that. I remember we were just sort of like, no, all right then. Because, I mean, I had my little emo boy. Um, Jenny lost hers, bless her. I think she ended up going home. Um, I don't think she was too bothered though, which was weird. I think she probably was like, this situation's weird quite happy to be out of it. She probably had the best, yeah, she, she was probably in the good place at that point. So yeah, my friend Georgia gets stuck with Ben. And <laughs> they end up being an item and then me and 
clearly said his name there, me and Bill are an item and we decide we're gonna go to the cinema and we're gonna watch Toy Story 3 because Toy Story 3. So we go to the cinema, everything's fine, nice. Then we come out, we go to Toys R Us because Toys R Us. Um, and I remember we got some pears to eat for some reason, that weird choice. And we were sat outside Toys R Us eating it, like being all cute, like oh this is so nice. And all of a sudden, they start freaking out, and <laughs> we didn't know what was going on. So basically, they hadn't told their mum that they were coming over. So they'd pretty much run away from home to come and see us. I don't really know how it happened. They, she was probably texting them, freaking out, like, oh my god, my sons have run away. And then they were like, oh, just in Chester, miles away, just chilling with these girls that we met on Habba Hotel. So, this crazy, well, she was probably crazy because she thought her sons were, like, dead, but she turns up and she basically, she's this full-on American woman. They weren't American at all. She was full-on American and she turns up and, like, takes them away, puts them in a car, and then, at this point, me and Georgia are just there, like, what? And this is, like, this is embarrassing. We are like basically on a main road, like on the path, and we are just like bawling our eyes out, crying, like they've been taken away, like what are we doing with our lives? And we didn't know what to do because we hadn't told anyone because we're idiots. So yeah, we're both freaking out, having a breakdown together, casual. So me, being me, was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to call my mum and explain it all to her. Like, she doesn't know all. She's just having this chilled out day at home and I'm here crying over a little emo boy who's going to be taken away from me. Anyway, I ring my mum and tell her and she is like, what the hell are you doing? What, what is going on? And I was like, I'm so sorry, mum, just please help. So my mum has to drive where we are and we're like in the street crying and she's just there like, what, what? So she basically had to go and convince this poor woman that we had to be with them and we don't want us to be taken away and everything's fine and we're nice and yeah. Turns out that this this mother, their Bill and Ben's mum, has a lot of mental issues, um, which I'm not like people have mental issues, whatever. But she decides she's full on American as well. I'm not sure why. They weren't from America, but she was Full on American. So this really strong American accent is crying on my mum. And my mum obviously is like, what? Starts crying on my mum, telling her entire life story, saying I've had such a hard life. And my mum was like, right, okay then, okay. Like, patting her on the back. And um, for some reason, it came to the conclusion that they were going to come back to our house and stay over. Why we didn't just think, right, this is weird, let them go, we invited them back. My mum was probably like, what is my daughter, what is my daughter, I'm going to leave her on the street, like, this is too much. If my daughter did this, I'd probably throw her out a window, come back to our house. Things start getting really weird. They are both just strange. I remember um, Bill, I don't remember if Bill or Ben's mine, the one that was mine, um, he walked in <laughs> Dusty, my cat, like, came strolling in and fat, and he just goes, wow, what a noble creature. And my mum literally looked at me like, what? What? Who is this? Who is this person? Get, get him out of my house. Then they just... I'll tell you basically what their personalities were like. Um, Bill, who is mine, was very depressed. He would just, he'd cry a lot. He'd just start crying over nothing, and I would just be there like, okay. And then the other one was very full on. He would also get got upset, but not as much. Um, so me and Georgia are there like, what, what? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, I remember at one point, at one point I was talking to Georgia and her man, her boy, little boy, I was talking to Georgia and Ben. Bill starts crying because he's like jealous. And he's like, oh my God, why are you talking to him? I'm like, what? And he stands like, he went in my garden and started crying and I was like, okay, okay, just breathe, it's fine. Um, at one point Ben pinched Georgia's nipple 
And she, I think she kicked him in the balls, actually. And we were just like, what? And I remember, <laughs> me and Georgia at this point were like, <laughs> and then Georgia was like, Abby, um, let's go and have a toilet break. And then we went on to lock ourselves in the toilet and we were literally like, what are we doing? How? And we were, <laughs> we were just, <laughs> we locked ourselves in the toilet and we were like, Georgia was like, Abby, I've not even spoke to you in like the whole day because they're too much. And then I was like, what are we going to do? How do we get rid of them? And we were like, we can't, they're staying the night. And yeah, so they're just obviously downstairs, not having a clue that we are freaking out. And it was just terrible. It was terrible. Now, one of the funniest things that happened, Georgia reminded me of this yesterday. There is a little park near my house, like right next to my house. And we were like, oh, let's go to the park, that'll be nice. Like, maybe me and Georgia could actually talk if we go there. So we walked to the park. And I can see people on the swings. They are literally six-year-olds. I'm pretty sure their mother was there with them. And I remember um, Bill, who was mine, I think. And I remember they freaked out and went, we can't go to the park, there's chads on the park. And I was like, they are like six-year-old children. We can go to the park. They're like, no, no, no. They're chads, they are. We need to go back. And they were terrified. And we were like, okay okay let's let's go back and at this point i just i just wanted them to go and obviously you can't be like jog on because they live miles away so yeah they stayed the night they stay why would my mother allow that i'm ashamed of you <laughs> she just wanted to make me happy and i remember the next day when they had to leave in our heads we're actually celebrating we have to act all sad like oh no never gonna see you again cry cry and then um my mum finds out she has to drive halfway <laughs> meet their crazy mother again so she's like <sighs> i think she was happy it was ending but wow and i honestly don't remember if we spoke to them after it. i think we were literally just like what just happened did this is, is this a dream um yeah it was just so bizarre and we were like <laughs> We were like, we'd never tell anybody about this. This is so embarrassing. And we just, we just never spoke of it ever again until now. And I've shared it with the world. So yeah, don't meet people from the internet, kids, unless you are older and you know what you're doing. But yeah, please be careful because they could be anyone. These were the strangest people I've met with a psycho mother. And it was just my biggest regret. It's a hilarious story though, so I guess that's that. Hi guys, sorry that ended so abruptly. I was literally just editing it and realised I didn't say bye. And I don't know why, I just like finished the story. <clears throat> but yes, um, please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed my crazy story. Don't be stupid like me. And subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.